So lately, I've, becoming, I've been becoming more and more disgustingly mainstream, you know. More devices, more phones, all kinds of cool stuff like that, and I've been getting more into Android. And let's talk about the Android platform for a minute. It started out fairly unified, but over time, each manufacturer has slowly implemented more and more customization to their firmware, whether it's additional apps that replicate functionality that's already there, or changes to the UI to the point where now, Depending on what device you buy, you might be getting something that's more of, a, of like a Samsung droid or like an HTC droid versus getting the vanilla Android experience. So today, we're going to give you guys an easy solution for those of you who might not be happy with your particular manufacturer's flavor of Google's Android OS. <coughs> So today we'll be showing you how to put CyanogenMod on your phone or other device. What is Cyanogen, you might ask? Well, it's an aftermarket firmware based on the open source Android operating system. It offers features that are not found in the official Android-based firmwares that come directly from the manufacturers, and it actually doesn't have that bloatware that gets installed by your carrier if you have a carrier-locked phone. So you also get more frequent updates because you don't have to wait around for the carrier and the manufacturer to push the updates to you after they validated them, but of course the flip side of this is that your carrier and your manufacturer may not have validated the firmware. So there can be bugs here and there, but it is one of the larger mods, so you do tend to get pretty quick bug fixes, comparably speaking. It can offer better performance and the latest Android, just because, again, it's removing that bloatware and, again, the whole not validating blah blah blah, uh, you know, and even you can get updates on phones that no longer have official support for new updates, so you can get new Android operating systems on much older devices. Finally, if you don't like it, it's super easy to switch back. Which isn't to say that it's completely one-sided and everyone should do it. There are some dangers. Your warranty may be voided after the mod is installed, and like I said before, there can be instabilities. So yeah, just bear that in mind. This is something for modders and tweakers, but the good news is that now it is much, much easier. Before we get started, you will need a high quality USB cable connected to a Windows computer. OS X support is coming, but not here yet. Don't use an old cable because the last thing you want is something that's in there loosely and comes loose in the middle of flashing a phone, and that can brick your phone or break it or bracket or all of the all of the different vowels that can be in the middle of that word. Bruck. Brick with a Y, which is sometimes a vowel. Anyway, uh, have your battery charged before you start. Don't have antivirus on on your computer at the time that you're doing this. Sometimes they don't play well with the rooting and modding stuff over USB. And finally, it should be noted that because of their new installer, you do not need to root your phone or unlock anything. The installer actually does it all, but it only works on supported devices. So you'll have to make sure, this was the one that we had lying around that was supported, so it's the new Nexus 7. You'll have to make sure that your device actually works with the Cyanogen Mod installer. So let's run through the process. Search for Cyanogen Mod installer and install it. Open it up and it'll prompt you if there's anything that you need to do. So this particular device is already good to go, but it might ask you to do things like turn off fastboot or enable USB debugging, so go ahead and do those things. Now it's time to unplug the device. It's telling us to go back to the computer and install the software on that side. So get back on the PC, browse to get.cm, run this program, and make sure that you allow it to have elevated writes. Then it will ask us to connect the device again. And that's really it. We're going to run through this in real time here, though, for you, so that you can really understand how quick and easy it is. So while that's installing, here are a couple of thoughts. Um, number one is we're running this on a tablet, but honestly, there's no real difference between running this on a tablet device or a phone or whatever else. Uh, Wheels also did the process with his Nexus 4 and told me that it was exactly the same. So just two installs, plug in the cable, and you're good to go. It should be noted, guys, that Cyanogen Mod is not the only custom mod, but or ROM rather, but it is the most accessible and easy to install with this new installer. If you guys do have a ROM manager, however, you can definitely try other ones, give them a spin, and see how it goes. It should be noted, guys, that this process does root your phone, and while that might sound scary, it does allow you to install applications that require root and enable additional functionality on your phone. The only real drawback to having your phone rooted is that potentially, if you're careless, 
you can have problems with viruses or whatever else, but just please don't be, don't be careless. So what Cyanogen Mod does is it, it brings your Android experience closer to the bare bones Android 4.3. You'll also see a few Cyanogen Mod tweaks, but you know, if you have something like a Samsung or HTC device and you don't like what those companies have done with their respective firmwares, this is a good way to bring you much closer to Google's intended Android experience. And depending who you are, that might be a good or a bad thing. And I personally quite like Sense. So that's HTC's skin for Android. Um, not everyone does, so it's very, very personal, personal preference. So now it's done installing and it'll run you through the usual logins and Wi-Fi checks and all that and you're pretty much good to go. You have now successfully modded your phone. As you can see, here is a tablet running Cyanogen. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this quick guide to the Cyanogen Mod Installer. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.